Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you an application that I have just built. Uh, this app is called Sozogram. It This app is a social networking app that allows users to post images with the caption on the server and then uh, other users that are following him or the following the current user can also see all the posts from him. So uh, let me show you the main storyboard of the app um, this is the main the main screen of the social gram which is a login screen and user would be able to register the account on this uh, page uh, with the email and the password and if the user already have an account they may also click on this button uh, the reason why I use a uh, navigation controller this is because um, for the next um, view you will see that uh, because I use the button on the top here that's why I need to use a navigation controller and this is the feet the feet here um, is a screen that allow user to uh, see all of the posts from other user that they that the current user is following and this is uh, the location a uh, user would also be able to know where the current uh, location where they are at and this is the post view So for the post, uh, user can post image with the caption with the screen. So let's see the sick way. When user click on the post, it will link to this screen. And when user click on the log out button, they will log them out to this main screen. Okay, so now before going to the code, I will show you the frameworks that I have used and also the app delegate and info.plist so um, here I have used two framework the first one is a uh, map kit that work with the map and the other one of course um, POD here mean that uh, I have installed pass server on it So now let's move to the app delegate. For the app delegate, the, just because I use the pass server, that's why I need the application ID, client key, as well as the URL of the pass server. And I will go to the social program. And as you can see that the capabilities I have enabled the map turn it on so that I can use it and this is the background modes for the background modes um, I have implement the music player that's a reason why I use uh, the player mode so that when the user click or press on the home button they can uh, still be able to listen to the music while they press the home button or they lock the screen And let's see the build faces. Uh, link binary bit library. This uh, two framework also show here. But for this uh, port underscore social gram dot framework, I didn't uh, add the framework from here. For more information about it, uh, installing the pass server, I will link that video in the description so that you can have a quick look info.plist so for info.plist I have at uh, two privacy the first one is the photo library so that a user can uh, post the image from the uh, photo libraries and also with the uh, location when in use usage this work with the map kit that will show the current location where the user is So the app that uh, I just created 
is working with the pass server. So uh, to be able to use the pass server in recent year or I need to use another um, cloud server to store all of the information that I use on the pass server. Uh, this is the AWS or Amazon uh, AWS EC2 which is the cloud service that I'm currently using. So uh, for 12 months it is a free tire eligible so I can use it for free uh, without any payment for 12 months so that I can use with the pass server. So now that, let's go back to the pass server. I will show you what uh, the information or some data that I store on the app using the pass server. So now let me show you some of the classes that I have used uh, with the application. So first of all is this user class. And you can see that there is the there are the usernames and password is hidden and also with the email. So for username, uh now let's say home with the object ID start with 5B. So now let go to the post which is all which are all the posts that all user have post and it will store in this class. And as you can see, yep, here start with 5B, which is home user have post the message with the image here. Let's see what he posts. This is the image that he posts to the server and whoever the user is following him, he, they will also see the image uh, in the application. And this is the user ID that starts with uh, WT. Let's see who is it. WT. Yeah. Jimmy, so Jimmy has post two of the posts with the caption of saying I love my uni and my first post and for the followers so here there are two important columns yep the first one is a follower and following so who is the follower and following who? So for this follower is following this guy and also following this guy. So that basically all of the information that store on the pass server. So it worked very effectively on using the application with having server store all of the information. Okay, so now let's see what the source code of each view controller. So first of all, the view controller dot swift, it is the main uh, login screen of the app. So now I have um, declared one uh, alert function. It will show the user what the message is all about, whether it is an error message or it is a successful message. So here is the sign up or login function. It will allow user to sign up or log in based on the uh, user preference. So as you can see here, on the right hand side, there's a sign up or a login button. So I won't go in detail, explain line by line, but I will just show the main function of the app. So you can get the idea of what uh, the app is all about. And this is the function that allows you to switch between sign up or login. Um, as you can see here, if I click on the login button, it will just switch between login and sign up buttons. So for the Miss Keyboard, um, this one, 
when I let's say I press on any of the text field and just because this is running in the simulator it won't show up the keyboard but when I run on a real device it will uh, just show up the keyboard uh, half of the screen so for this reason I use this function to uh, end editing when I press anywhere on the screen uh, it will just make the keyboard disappear otherwise um, it, the sign up or login button will stay behind the keyboard so that's the reason why a user would, would not be able to choose or click on the button at the bottom here so I will log in using one of my account and I just log it in or I can just try using the sign up button so you can see that um, what the error message uh, will tell you so you can see um, the message saying account already exists for this username so the user would be not be able to use the duplicate um, message or a duplicate email so now I can log it in so this is another uh, view controller um, this is this will link to another Swift file okay now let's see the uh, user table view controller dot uh, this class is uh, focused on the what you can see right here is the following um, view controller and in this class I also implement the refresh um, function which allow user to let's say I hold it down and I release so you can see that um, it refreshes the whole page by using the hold to refresh function also when I work with the parser I also include the class name which in this case as you can see the C followers which is a class that uh, include the follower and following users and for this one the view did appear function that um, using the navigation controller uh, navigation bar uh, dot is hidden false which is uh, let's say I lock it out uh, in this case this one is false that's why uh, as you can see uh, you can see the top bar right here it will show a lock out following feed and post something like this but uh, when I just lock out you won't see the uh, navigation bar controller on top of here just because um let's go back to the view controller dot swift you will see that this this uh, right here I set it to true which will hit then the navigation bar on top of right here so now let me log in the password is password log it in okay so now let's go back to this here okay so for um, function or a number of section for all of this function uh, mainly it's focused on using the table view uh, as you can see line by line right here so what I mentioned above is the follower and following so when I would like to follow a user that you can see on this list I can just press on uh, each of the name so that you can see a check mark right here meaning that I'm following that uh, particular user yep so this is um the main function of this page right here okay now um, let's jump to the speed table view cell for this one I did not use any much of the function 
rather I just uh, declare some of the uh, label and image view as you can see here this is the image view and with the username label and message label so now let's go to the table fit table view controller so basically uh, for this page the user will um, see all of the posts that uh, from the user that they are following let's say in this case I follow John and follow Jimmy when I press on fit it will retrieve all of the information that uh, I'm following uh, those users so just because I follow uh, Jimmy that's why you can see the Jimmy at gmail.com and then this is the caption so in this case uh, Jimmy has post two posts and this one from John okay so for this page um, basically all the same that work with the class name also with the field as well as using the same as last one which is a table view and for the post image view controller when I, I press on post right here so for this post uh, user will be able to select an image from their photo library as you can see on the code right here the, yep this is the function select an image and user would be able to get the image so that they can post it on the server or post it in the app by using dot photo library and for image picker controller which is um, a function that work with the image uh, picker and user will also be able to write a caption with the image import from the photo library also the same as a view controller of zip there is a alert function and this is the function of the post image which is this one right here when you press on this uh, button they, uh, the image will be sent to the server so other user will see it once they log in to using their account and this is the play music uh, button and post music and stop um, music button so while they are choosing the image from their um, photo library they will be able to listen to the music so for this one um, keyboard will show and keyboard will hide so basically these two function uh, when user let's say they press on the a text field right here to write a caption keyboard will just appear over all of these uh, functions so user would not be able to uh, select or press on listen to music or some things so uh, for these two functions it will just uh, move the entire screen uh, around here I will show you a screenshot of what I'm saying right here And this is just a what I call the function to use in the uh, view did load. So now let's go back and go to the map view controller. Okay, so this one is the map view controller. When I press on this icon right here, uh, it will just um, get the current user location information and then it will just let the user know where they are currently at so to work with the map I will also import import the map kit like I say um, this function will get the current user uh, to know where they are currently at and this is the title so that basically it the functionality of the app I will also run it on the real device so that you can see how this application will work 
Okay, so now as you can see, this is the social gram um, app icon. So now I will go to the app to show you. Okay, um, as before, I will log in using my current account. With the password or password. And what I told you before was that uh, this as you can see there's a, a keyboard right here and I would not be able to press on the login button which is on the bottom of the screen so now what I can do I can press on any of the screen right here so it will just uh, miss the keyboard and now I can press on the login button and by the way um, I will just log out to show you one thing which is when I press on the login button you will see a a small spinner uh, when when the small spinner is still loading I would not be able to press on any other button it will just stop all the entire interact uh, user interaction so now uh, I must be quick press on the login and press other button it just all this uh, disable all of the other function so for the following page um, when I press on the feed you will just see the exact same result as I show you uh, before on the um, Xcode and for this app icon which is the first one saying my first post for this is just a default image when let's say it goes to the post when user did not select an image from the photo library uh, they can post and with the default image and with the uh, caption as well and now let's um, press on the select an image as you can see it will access the image from the photo library uh, let's say in this case um, I log in as a home account so for now I can select an image let's say this one okay so I select write a caption I enjoy learning iOS programming okay so now I press on the post image and you see a small spinner uh, next to the time and you can see that it, there's an image uh, message saying that uh, this the image have been posted successfully so now when I go back and log out so in this case I will log out and then sign in using the other account let's say this time we will sign in as a Jimmy account password is the same one password log in oh the password would be one two three four as I remember yes so now as you can see uh, I'm following home account and now when I press on the feed you will see the post that I just post from the home account yes you can see here the button one um, saying that I enjoy learning iOS programming with the image as you can see right here so for the first post which is the post that I post um, before and now let's say I would like to know where uh, I'm currently at I can press on the map image yes a map icon and this is my current location and now let's say I'm also following John and when I press on the feet okay so um, 
as you can see when I click on the uh, John account which means that I'm following John when I press on the uh, feed button you can see that there's an other image which we are retrieve from the server and you can see this image and now let's say I deselect this uh, John and then press on the feed again and we try to retrieve all of the uh, image or post from the server so now when I scroll down you will see that the image is just disappear just because uh, I have unfollow um, John account and now let log out and create a new one okay now let me sign up a new account so we are signing up as sosogram at gmail.com let's say what happened and for the password uh, well the simple one just one two three and when I press on the let's say I haven't created an account yet and I would like to use it as login and you will see a error message um, as shown here invalid username and password and now let me sign it up yes as you can see uh, for all of the current user you will see that um, before was only five account and now there are six account just because I create uh, just created a new one uh, earlier so now let's say I press on the feed you will not see any post yet just because uh, I haven't follow any of the users so in this case um, I will follow three account Hong John or let's say false check Jimmy and see all the fit so for the first two posts uh, you will see that uh, this is from Hong account and this is from John account and Jack has not uh, post any images yet that's why I, I did not see any from the Jack account yep the same thing for post I can choose an image from the photo library or just write a caption let's say what a great day and a post okay before I post that caption I want to listen to the music I can press on this button you can press post the button or resume it back or just stop it completely so now I post an image by using the default uh, image which is the app logo okay it say that uh, the post is successfully post so now let me log out and this time I will log in as a I will log in as John and I will also follow the sociogram uh, account which is the account that I just created okay so now log out this time I will log in as John actually for the um, email right here just use any of the uh, email not just a gmail one so for John uh, the password is password login and now yes here sociogram which is the one I just created and now I follow the social ground and as you remember that the previous one I just post and default image with the app logo and uh, the caption is what a great day and press on feed yep when I scroll down as you can see the social ground at gmail.com and with the caption of saying what a great day the same for the 
uh, app icon on top right here which show the current user location um, for this one this function is basically only allow user to know where current user is uh, current user location is and for upcoming version I will implement an a function that allow the current user to know other user that he or she is following and in this case uh, it will make relationship even closer and now when I go back um, when I press on post again okay so now let me uh, play the music anyway for the music um, when I ch uh, play well while the music is playing and when I press on the following to go back to the uh, following page the music will just um, stop it completely for current uh, version I will only allow user to uh, listen to the music which is in the background as you can see right here this is the music that playing in the background uh, when user press on the home uh, let me turn the volume off okay so uh, as you can um, see the music is still playing in the background or maybe I can just press on the login um, lock screen button the music is still playing so following version I will also upgrade uh, the, f the f source code to allow user to listen to the music within the whole app that they are using not only in the background so well that basically all of the information or the functionality of sociogram is